welcome. Live cooking episode 84. Uh, today we'll be making a nice meal with some fish and some various veggies. Gonna be lovely, so let's uh, do the explanation mark menu in chat real quick. <clears throat> there it is, white fish, pollock to be precise, spinach, cabbage, sugar snaps, and we got some lemon. And I got some onions and I got some sesame. Uh, it's gonna be lovely. And along with that, I'm drinking some alcohol free beer. No alcohol today. I had my fair share last weekend. I'm still suffering the consequences. So, um, on the right over here, as always, you can see the ingredients list. Um, but we're also gonna have a look at them ourselves with our eyes. So let's switch the camera here. There it is. Various stuff. So I got the pollock right here. You can use codfish or whatever fish you like. I'm using the pollock. It's not that uh, expensive. Pretty cheap actually. So it's kind of a budget meal if you will. That's kind of what people want nowadays, right? What else do we need? We need some spinach. I got some spinach here. Quite a lot, but once you start baking it, you might know that it reduces in size a lot. Same thing with the cabbage. I got some Oxard cabbage over here. It's already cut. Lazy me. So there's that. I got some lovely sugar snaps. Not gonna boil them. Just gonna stir fry them in a pan along with the other veggies. And we need an onion, just one. Lemon, that's for flavoring. And I got a big jar of sesame that will go over top of the fish. We're gonna bake that in the oven. Not that long, shortly. So, first off, I'm gonna start grabbing an oven plate for the fish. And this, this meal is kind of basic, guys. Kind of basic. So, got myself an oven plate. The oven is set to uh, 200 degrees Celsius. And it's about 380 to 400 Fahrenheit. If you're on the Fahrenheit measurement system. So, it's me and the missus. So, I need two fillets. Of pollock fish. There you go. That's about 300 grams in total, roughly. So 150 each. Lots of water came out of that, so let me clean that real quick. Summer is coming, so don't want all the flies in your kitchen here. I got some garlic oil. I always make this myself. Just some olive oil, garlic. Put it in the kitchen mixer, blend it up, and you got yourself some garlic oil. Um, I'm going to drape a little bit of that over the fish. Like that. We're going to save the rest of the garlic oil to bake our veggies in. Now, I got the sesame seeds, as mentioned. Put that over the fish, like that. I need some other stuff. I never put down pepper or salt in my ingredients list because for me that's kind of a natural thing to use. Just some extra flavoring. My pepper meal is empty so I have to grab some of this then. Got some black pepper over here. There you go. Now now comes the lemon. We need half of the lemon. We're going to 
gonna squeeze out the juice over the fish. I heard my mic disconnecting there for a second. My bad. So half of the lemon, squeeze out the juice over the fish, like that. Save the other half to stir fry the veggies with. So I'm gonna put that in the oven. As mentioned, it's set to 200 degrees Celsius. We're gonna bake that for about 10 to 15 minutes. So not that long. That will give us time to prepare the veggies. So let me cut that onion. I'll roll up my sleeves for a second here. All right, we got some onions there. And just now I started thinking I got to have a bell pepper left, or paprika, kind of depends where you live really, how you name it. I got uh, a half left from the other night, let's add that to our veggie mix as well. Why not? No? Nice Dutch bell pepper. Cutting off all the white stuff, I don't like that. It's not that you can't eat it, but I just don't look like the looks of it. Alright. So there's that. Now we're going to start off baking these or stir frying them. The onions, the bell pepper, the sugar snaps and at the last moment we'll add the spinach and the cabbage. So let me prepare my stove here real quick. Some lightning, thunder. I just absolutely love sugar snaps. The taste, nice and crispy if you prepare them well. Probably the most expensive thing in this uh, recipe. If you, if you can't find sugar snaps or you don't like them, you can use like green beans or garden peas or any type of beans really. Right now we're using the sugar snaps. I'll put away my knife real quick. Don't need that anymore. So I'm going to the camera again. So. Kind of look away from the camera for a second if you suffer from motion sickness. Here we go. I do have a second camera, but I'm having trouble uh, setting that up. 
Is that too dark? I guess it's all right. Let me change my curtains here. It's a little bit too much light. Still a lot of light, but I guess it will do for now. Okay, so let's heat up this stir frying pan. Make sure it's really hot, because that's how you stir fry. So we're heating that up with a little bit of sunflower oil, just a little bit, because we're also using the garlic oil. In Heat it up properly. <clears throat> so today, last week of season three at the chicken farm has started. By the end of this week, the season will be over and we'll know who won season, probably dubbing for life. Uh, he's been on top since day one of season three. Um, I think Barb is trailing him. Let's see, top ten. Dubbing first. Yeah, Barb is second. Still more than a million behind dubbing. So my guess is that dubbing is going to win this one. And then we'll get to season four. Already the fourth season of the chicken farm. Probably starting next week. So we got one week without any games and currency systems. And then next week we'll start season four and the contest starts over again. I got some new stuff coming up for season four. Got some new chat games. Uh, new way of defining uh, points and chickens, so stay tuned. Look at this, lovely. I just love the colors in here. So let's stir fry the shit out of that. I know somebody, <laughs> I'm not gonna say her name, <coughs> mother-in-law, she once had dinner over at my place along with my girlfriend and I also made a meal with sugar snaps and she loved it so much. She's like, oh, you gotta give me the recipe. So I did. And then later, like two weeks later or something, she told me, yeah, I prepared that one meal with the sugar snaps. I'm like, oh, nice. And then she said, but I did boil the sugar snaps first. I'm like, no, don't do that. Don't boil the sugar snaps. How long did you boil it? And she said, yeah, I boiled it for 50 minutes. I'm like, shit. Why you do this to the sugar snaps? That hurts. hurts. So when I eat sugar snaps, they go straight into the pan. I'm not going to boil them first. You want that crispiness, you know, they got. It's not like the typical green bean or something. You want a little bit of bite to it. You don't have to boil them. Let's add a little bit of pepper and salt to that. Pepper. Got some nice sea salt over here. Let's add that as well. Go. A little bit of the garlic oil. Oh, 
lovely colors. I'm gonna quickly look at the fish. How are you doing over here, Mr. Fishy? Coming along nicely, yes. Let's put that on low fire for a bit. I'm not, in the meantime, I'm having a look at my in my fridge if there's maybe something else we can add to this. Some extra stuffs. Maybe, perhaps, question mark. Nah. Sometimes you find stuff you're like, hey, I can use that. Kind of do an improvised, improvised cooking, you know? Those kind of meals usually end up in being one of the best meals you made, the improvised ones. But it appears that today I don't have anything left, like the bell pepper we added just now. Alright, let's add some of the cabbage. We'll do the sp spinach after. Not the whole bag, that's way too much. Whatever's left over from that, I'll use for, I don't know, to make salad or something. Maybe to put on a hamburger or something. That's always nice. Right, very nice. A little bit more of the garlic oil. So this meal is really fast, not a lot of baking time for the veggies and the fish, both of them. Everything is finished really quick. So could be perfect if you had a long day at work and you don't want to eat like mm, takeaway food or fast food. You want something healthy, but you don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen either because you just worked for eight hours or maybe more that day so this meal is kind of perfect for that hey what's up demon how are you good morning i guess to you it's morning on your end i believe thank you for tuning in here Yes, we got some food. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Doing good. Uh, we're preparing uh, some stir-fried veggies. I got uh, some bell pepper in here, sugar snaps, onions, cabbage. And in the oven right now, we got a white fish. Bowl of white fish with sesame seeds and lemon. About to dye my hair, so I was coming in to say hi and lurk, I appreciate that demon, appreciate it. What color is your hair going to be? What color? Something special or maybe just blonde or, or brown or black? Or blue maybe? Pink? No, not pink.
Right, in goes the spinach. A lot, because this will reduce in size drastically. Rainbow? You were a rainbow the last time and you still haven't decided for this one yet? But it's gonna be crazy color for sure. All right, all right, all right. You're gonna do it yourself or you're gonna have somebody else do it for you? There you go, that's all of the spinach. Dubbing! Oh, dubbing! Do your command thingy. Do your, do your command thingy, dubbing. Oh, you already did it. Bossing for life, it's dubbing for life. <laughs> uh, are you gonna do it yourself? Nice, nice. I think I... It's been a long time ago, demon. I think... I saw you do something similar on one of your streams back on Mixer. That was like really long ago. Dyed your hair or you did something with makeup. Something like that. You've seen? You've seen dubbing? Oh, uh, dubbing. Um, so, you know, this is the last week of the season, right? I was just talking about it uh, a little bit ago. Um, but, uh, some new stuff coming up for Next season, man. You guys are gonna love it. But first, we need to finish this week. I think you. I, I think I saw you dye your hair on stream, demon. It's like really long ago, when we were still on together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see? Dyed my hair purple and it was supposed to be dark red. Oh shit. That's something I don't remember really, but I do remember like you were doing something like that. Dark red is nice too, but yeah, if you want to go purple, I guess you're not satisfied with that result. Sounds like I'm on drugs. Dubbing, are you on drugs? Why you do this? Don't use drugs. Drugs is bad, okay? Don't use drugs. They're bad for you, okay? So I'm squeezing out the other half of the lemon. Veggies. Move the controller a little. Oh, is it doing its thing again? Hold on. How about now, dubbing? Is that better? I really need to buy myself a stationary microphone. Would be so much better. Okay, cool, thanks. Yeah, it was it was like uh, tangled up in my belt again. Thanks, thanks for letting me know. Let's have a look at the fish real quick. Fish is almost finished, so we're gonna put this on low fire. Let it sutter a little bit. Dubbing puts 7500 in the claw machine and received 3923 in return nice nice dubbing so yeah um let me give you a little heads up for the next season dubbing it has to do something with a wool so we got the fox we got all the monsters from the monster hunt 
but in season 4 there will be a wolf. I'm not gonna tell you what it does yet, but there is gonna be a wolf that does thingies. And you guys are not going to like it. I also changed the way the fox worked, works, so that will be different next season too. I just, you gotta stay tuned. We need to get you a production crew to run tests before. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I don't hear like th my own sound, obviously. So I'm all depending on feedback from chat, you know, if something's off. So that's kind of an issue. But thankfully, at you dubbing, you always mention it or say it when something's off or the audio is stuttering or whatever, you know. But yeah, you're not always here because you got your own life and stuff to do. So I did ask, uh, by the way, I'm adding some of the sesame to the veggies as well now. Uh, when I started doing the cooking show, I asked my girlfriend to be the camera, cameraman or camera woman rather, but she didn't want to. She said, fuck it. You do it, do it all by yourself. I'm not helping. <laughs> So we're already getting close to the end. I'm sorry, this is a short cooking show. Um, this is a kind of a fast meal, you know? So I'm gonna grab myself some plates. Oh yeah, and there is a new hint coming. already had the first hint, culture and country has their own versions, but they all have the same comforting goal. Second hint, you need to listen carefully. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. So let's grab some plates. And Take out the fish now. That seems right. All right. There's the fish. I need some stuffies to scoop up my food. Dubbing made it out. The barn heist. Let's go, Dubbing. Let me quickly yell upstairs that food is ready. I think this might be the fastest cooking stream I ever did. Um, I'm going to move the camera again real fast. Back to the plates, because we're going to scoop up the food we made. So I got my fancy here. First. We're going to scoop the veggies. Very healthy meal over here. There's spinach in there, there's sugar snaps in there. Cabbage, onions. Flavored with black pepper. And lemon. We also added the, the bell pepper to that. Didn't put it in the ingredients list, but I saw it laying around in the fridge, so I was like, eh, why not? Also kind of adds a little bit of extra color to your dish, you know? Oh. Thank Buster, what's up? The time you started cooking, I started my race. 
You're finished before me. Oh shit, yeah, it was a fast meal today. Thank Buster. Really fast one. What's up with the first month subscriber badge? That looks different. What happened? I have to look into that. I'm doing good, sir. Thanks. Thanks for asking. I'm doing great. Doing my foodie again. Hold on, I need to finish this. I need a knife. We want some extra lemon, you know? Music can be associated. Ooh. Got the fuck fish with the sesame right there. I'm doing my fine. Thank you. And just a little bit of lemon, extra lemon to squeeze over top, you know, for those who like it. So one plate to the missus real quick. The other one is from me. A song can be associated. Music can be associated. Singing. I guess you have to sing with it, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's not an associated word, but I'm gonna give you one this for free. So let's have a closer look here. Got the stir fried veggies, sugar snaps, spinach, cabbage. Onions, and we got the sesame pollock fish from out of the oven with the lemon. Very nice. Some extra lemon on top. Just a fast, healthy meal for you guys today. <coughs> Since it's, it's such a short stream, I'll take some bites here. And then I'm gonna join my girlfriend on the dining table maybe that will uh, dubbing some extra chance to uh, unlock it and otherwise dubbing you have to come back tomorrow That will be the next time you'll see me live. Delicious. Delicious. Mm. Yeah, I also made bubble a chicken dubbing. Um, he already had his spinal command, but he also has it now. There he is. He always wears the cap backwards and he got that long hair. <laughs> so there you go, Bubble. I already sent it to him uh, through a message. Uh, tonight I won't be there dubbing. I'm gonna play uh, some uh, Hunt Showdown with uh, Kane and Yunusko. But I'll be there tomorrow. Battlefield. Gotta keep the hype alive. And I might wanna try and go Firestorm since Jack Frax, like big ass YouTuber, he posted a video about uh, Firestorm was back alive. So I expect it to be really back alive now. Because he has a lot of influence, you know. Mm. 
Which is really good. Fetchies too, but you know, it's not that super special or anything. Karaoke communication? No, neither. It's music, it's a song, it's comforting. Used to be dubbing. All right, I'm gonna eat the rest of this meal at the dining table, socialize a little bit with the missus, you know. You uh, go start uh, thinking really hard about this chicken art dubbing. And you come back tomorrow and try to unlock it then. I'm sure you'll succeed again, unless Barb shows up. She's usually really good at the chicken arc too, or Jeffrey. Jeffrey is also quite capable of unlocking it. But they, they're not here now, so they haven't seen the associated words, so. Oh, never mind. He already got it. 155,000 chickens dubbing. That's a lot. So that's the last chicken arc this season. I won't be adding a new one until the next season starts. Um, congratulations, Dubbing. You did it again. Oops, he did it again. Lullaby. Nice one. Yeah, totally right. And will Dubbing make it to 4 million by the end of this week? I wonder. Probably. He's coming up 20k short. Nearly. Yeah, almost. GG's. GG's. You did well this season. Alright guys, I'm gonna join my girlfriend at the dining table. I'll uh, be back tomorrow. It was kind of a short cut stream. But uh, it shows that... If you had a hard day at work and you don't want to eat fast food or takeaway food, and you want, but you don't want to spend that much time in the kitchen, this is a perfect meal. It's done without in a, it's done within a second, you know. Real easy. I call it tech toe meals. Um, take care. Be safe. And most of all, stay chicken. Dubbing. I'll talk to you tomorrow. And once again, congratulations on unlocking chicken arc once again later